Hello everybody, welcome back to Downtown Activities, and welcome back to the Curian Empire, our Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition campaign, uh, with an epic 6 rule set, um, extremely, extremely loosely inspired by uh, the ancient Mediterranean, if the ancient Mediterranean had tabaxi and elves and dwarves. And magic. And magic. A little bit of magic. Who says it didn't have magic? They would say that it did have magic. <laughs> they would say yeah, it was I would say that, unfortunately, in the real world, magic isn't real. But who do I know? Okay. That's why you have no imagination. <laughs> you're blind. You're blind, you're blind to, to the truth. truth. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when last we left off, you all had um, discovered the fate of Tercis's brother. Um, he did. But confirming but your worst fears, but... Um, in a better way than you were hoping, I suppose. Or at least in a more interesting way. Mm -hmm. um, an old friend left the party. A <coughs> new friend? Too early to say, has joined. Yeah, yeah. A new something, all right. Um, and uh, you were all sort of in the process of deciding where to go next. And I think... As much as I'd love to take this wolf pelt I just got and take my brother's uh, visage and help conquer the north, uh, I think the right way to do my brother's name honor uh, is to... Take this pelt and bring chaos to your land. Well, not chaos. I mean, yes, temporary <laughs> chaos. The long-term stability. I'm going to go burn my homeland. In honor of my brother, I'm going to go burn our house. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never liked those things anyway. Is it not your house right now, though? First of all, fuck you. Salt in the wound, motherfucker. Second of all, yeah, it's Mercedes Sorex's house right now. Which is why he's gonna go burn it down. No, I'm gonna burn it down with him inside. He's gonna lock, yeah, lock the doors and set fire to the building. <laughs> Which we haven't uh, we haven't done yet in Baldur's Gate 3, but man, did we make good use of in Divinity Original Sin. That we did. That we did. <laughs> Stacking crates in front of all the doors. <laughs> Just lighten the building up. Uh... It's very hard. hard to read. It's almost like it's random. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I, it's hard to see the numbers. The oh, like, it's like actually hard to read. <laughs> yeah, I never know what it's going to be next. Every time I, I roll just, it, every time I roll it, it's like it's a random number. I'm getting an eye on this guy. Just, uh, oh. What I would like to do <coughs> is head back to Arathus and with our found hidden away village in that. Uh, I guess we can show you. You don't know about it. It's cool. It makes for a good story. Uh, we can build the, the grassroots of a rebellion. Or at least find them and help them grow in a safe place. Help lead them. So many people are going to get lost trying to find that place. Well, that's why we guide them there. Yeah. Also, if we're specifically in the area of... Wait. Did I say Arathus? Yeah. That is my proto Greece and Dracos campaign. <laughs> Iara. We, we did not spend much time there. No. <coughs> really. Just in the southern coast hunting uh, yeah, Cyclopses. We, we went there just long enough to convince a couple of Cyclopses that she was a god and then we hightailed it out of there. Yeah. Uh, no, Iara. We very briefly went back there because I distinctly remember Holt waking up in bed with a Minotaur. She's a he, nun, you <laughs> sick fuck. That one was not a nun. <laughs> she is. Holt just had a bad Holt? habit of sleeping with women. Halfling Road, by the way. Like, um, <laughs> at any rate, specifically if we're in Themis, which is my home city, uh, the kind of people who are born there should have an easier time than most finding it because that's where the best sailors in the world are born. Fair enough. Fair enough. Out of character in Tercius's opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Are uh, they actually the best sailors in the world? I don't know. But in, in Tercius's opinion, they are. They are sailors of the world. They, so. they are... Something. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> own boats. <laughs> no, they morning. don't. Not anymore. But I'm going to fix that. <laughs> Taking the boats back. Uh, which might be one of the earlier things I want to do in boat. this rebellion. Get a bigger boat. Get war boats. Mm. Specifically steal some. <laughs> uh, and have that be the kind of potential start of the rebellion. Is like... <clears throat> Themisian? Is that what people from my hometown sure. would be? Themisians? Themisian, uh, a small Themisian re rebel navy, I think, could be a massive thorn in the side of uh, Roman leadership in that area. It is. Especially with a cove that no one can find to hide away in. 
It is worth noting, uh, you would know this in particular, that Themis is the seat of the provincial governor, and therefore, like, the seat of imperial power. Um, so as far as, like, places that are going to be <coughs> patrolled and guarded, Themis is going to be very high on that list. Yeah, Harry's got a really nice house there. Oh, <laughs> that's why we're here that's why we're going back but yes I think that for the time being um, I'd like to think the going back getting our stuff from the tent like to thank the tribesmen there and wish them luck in their defense of their homeland well they don't need luck the gods are on their side out of curiosity your god of death <laughs> oh god, is it go. or is it not a dog not a dog is your god of death a dog? No, but he has a dog. Well, lots of gods have dogs, I would assume. <laughs> well, this is a really big dog with three heads. But anyway, and the, the dog man who's here, their death god is a dog. I'm trying to make connect. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> may you not meet your death god anytime soon. Um, I have does my own mean, homeland to go and defend. Does that mean defend. he has an unholy death, though? If he dies soon, does that mean... I mean, he doesn't get anonymous. I don't know your gods. What a strange person. <laughs> what a strange man. Um, but at any rate, I think that we should head up. Yep. Go back to our boat. <coughs> Let me our boat, yeah. Because we do have a boat. Mm-hmm. Still. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, we haven't lost that. <laughs> what do we name our It says the guy that didn't name his horse. So. <laughs> well, a boat, a, living a boat needs a name. Floating on a on the water on a boat with no name doesn't have the same name. <laughs> Sorry. I was sailing to Iara on a boat with no name. No, it does fit. It does fit. I guess he does reach the sea in that song and let his horse go mm-hmm. free. So. Yeah. In the sea, I don't remember your name. <laughs> So, <laughs> we'd like to head back. Uh, you, you can have plenty of time to think about a name for your boat on the like two weeks or so. Uh, back journey weeks. back to the south. Can always uh, stop at the Oracle too. <laughs> In character, Tercis would be fine with that. He's like I don't wanna. four days away from uh, from from the like ruined strongholds you guys are headed to. Or if you want to go visit her. <clears throat> Sounds crazy. It is. Yes. You, uh, as a collector of tales, you would know of this oracle. At least mm. as far as, like, lots of old stories from Ayara. And mm. even some from, like, drifting into your homeland of, like... Like, like this oracle is real, or it's always been, like, a myth kind of thing? Bit of column A, bit of column B. Mm. Like, you know there is supposed, it is supposed to be an oracle, and... She shows up in a lot of legends, like giving guidance to kings and heroes and hmm. whatnot. Is that Oracle's real? That's uh, she is very real. She, that's cool. Yep, seems like a hero. I don't, don't you know? I've never seen women do the exact same thing she did. <laughs> <laughs> she is a, she's a being that might transcend a bit of that, but at the very least. I, I I don't feel like there's much else we could gain from going and talking to her, but no. if you really feel that No, I was making a joke. <laughs> you were, really, you were just you trying want, to make why? me Matthew Anderson's blood bowl. Why are you so bitter? You're the one who gave her the orb of ultimate power. <laughs> mm-hmm. After lots of thinking, I am not. I'm Tercius. Tercius. <laughs> Man, I'm Tercius. Uh... Uh, for a long journey to the south, we will hop on our ship uh, that's hopefully still at the dock it's in that village, and begin the long journey back to that place. Okay. Um, pull up the map, but I believe you guys are going to be going around the um, peninsula that is sort of the Kyrian homeland um, in order to get back to... Yeah, you'll be you'll be going around um, Batavia. Mm-hmm. 
um, to, to get um, back down near um, the city of Kings, which is where your uh, <coughs> your fortress lies, or your ruins of fortress. Now. <coughs> So it is, it is going to be weeks of sailing. Um, in the far north, it will be fully winter. Uh, you guys won't notice. <laughs> it uh, remains pretty balmy here pretty much all year. Yeah. Wolf is suffering. <laughs> Wolf is, once again, I am once again asking you to vomit over the edge of the boat. <laughs> if I can any, make it. Yeah. Are you making any stops along the way, or are you just sailing back towards Kansas? I don't know. I don't think there's any places we need to stop. Do we need to go to the capital of the Empire and join some tournament to put people in their place? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Any thoughts? No I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to my. I'm not looking forward to a gladiator arc just yet. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go lose the rebellion. Then we can do our gladiator arc. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Which means your second gladiator arc, also known as your Spartacus arc. Our spark. 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 <laughs> John's body is having a spark. Uh, anyway, uh, sail back. Yeah, I don't think we need to stop anywhere. I think we just make our way back to yeah. Ayara. And... Now, are we stopped by anybody on our way? Give me a wisdom check with proficiency for your... Uh, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For your sailing. A six. <laughs> That's a bad roll to start off the night there, fellas. Weather's rough. Um, you definitely get blown off of blown off course more than once and for a while I'm forced to just like really follow the coast. Wolf is not looking good. <laughs> um, you think the dwarf may not survive. Uh, He's dying. He's dead weight. Throw him overboard. You're not. Uh, you Don't you touch yet? me, you bastard. <laughs> have you named the boat yet? No. You, this you, boat's not cool enough to have a name. You don't know if it's because but, you haven't named it or you don't know if you didn't like seek Poseidon's blessings before this voyage or like what it was sink it damn <laughs> shanty you, like, you uh, bastard the voyage takes a lot quite a bit longer than it should at the the height of the storm I am I am like tugging on a lion in, 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 in Elven singing please please, please don't <laughs> seek our boat <laughs> but I'd say instead of I stabbed a cow I stabbed a goat I would say I will stab a cow I'll stab a goat <laughs> if Poseidon if you don't sink our boat <laughs> roll me a persuasion check with advantage who can get to land see a goat and just go nope well, well so that one's a crit fail so <laughs> Jesus Christ stay on the table uh, but the other one persuasion that's a 20 okay um <laughs> You, uh, the, the next day, the weather's definitely calmer. You feel like you have a little bit better sense of direction. You also have a pretty, like, impending feeling of what will happen if you don't follow through with you your find a cow promise to, to sacrifice. Uh, even after the storm person. calms, Wolf just in, the, in his, like, hammock, like... <laughs> <laughs> It's like lightning and shit cracking, and then all of a sudden you say that, and it goes silent for a second. <laughs> He's listening. He's it, listening. It's, it's more like you wake up the next morning and the weather is clear. Um, and the wind is fairer. You have a better sense of And it. you you feel like you, maybe you should really sacrifice a cow and a goat uh, before you set sail again. That's probably a fair call. Do we need to land so you can go? Well, no. Stand? I mean, once we land and I get to land, then I'll find a cow and a goat. Besides, super patient, it's fine. <laughs> Known for his patience. Yeah, just has that one guy. Uh, what was his name? Built the wooden horse or whatever? Yeah. Because I love that guy, He right? was all about that guy. Yeah, I have a sneak- real, real patient with that guy. I have a sneaking <laughs> suspicion your god's not that patient. <laughs> gods aren't patient. But, unless we, there's some manatees around here, <laughs> the cow of the sea, of course, uh, I think we're going to have to wait until we get back. Would that just make him more mad because you're killing his kin? Are you saying that he is he is ilk of <laughs> and then they're, they're, they're the same? Him and man beside You're gonna sink our boat. <laughs> Walt doesn't know. What are you talking about? So where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Headed? You are not a man of deep <laughs> 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 So I can check with this <laughs> Where, uh, where are you heading within IR? 
like, I feel... Are like... you headed for Themis, or are you headed for <coughs> the village, like, one of the coastal villages near Canis, or are you headed for... Um, Sileta and uh, well, it's like, the, the our, hidden village of Sileta and Actro Sileta, the fortress. Our, our fortress is near is near Canis. Can it's um it's on it's it's essentially right on the coast and a little bit uh, west. Canis is like quite the warrior culture, mm-hmm. right? I but feel it's, like it's Sparta. It's the Sparta. I feel like Canis, the area of Canis, would be where we are most likely to find. An Cal already in, uh, yeah, Cal- 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 <laughs> an in progress like start of a rebellion. Yeah, so I feel like that'd be a good place to start. Well, and I'm thinking. Make too, I'm also thinking too in terms of like location of how far we are from our close. Yeah, yeah. it's close to our place, and it's uh, it's an area with a bunch of proud warriors. Yeah, I'm I'm for it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're just heading for one of the coastal villages near. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, you can make it then. Arriving there, first thing I'd like to do is go to a uh, local area. I assume that this village has somewhere with livestock. Mm-hmm. I would like to try and track down and purchase both a cow and a goat. Okay. <laughs> I believe those are both in here. I would sure they so. are. Mm, please, be <laughs> please don't seek our bull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially if I want to have a naval presence in our rebellion. Not right. off the side. A goat is going to want, run you one gold piece. Okay. Um, the cow, on the other hand, will run you ten. Oh, so a total of eleven. Mm-hmm. I will pay it. Okay. By the way, um, you guys will know that my character likes to carry around a bag of meat with him. So, raw meat? Dried meat? Mm, I would raw say it's not gonna last very long. Yeah, yeah. Pro- probably not completely raw, but probably not like cooked great. So don't edible. try to use any of the meat from this. We gotta burn it all so that Poseidon doesn't feel gypped. He feels very sad about this. <laughs> it's not wasting; it's giving it to Poseidon. Right. Yes. Uh, also, give me a uh, give me a religion. Role. I'm gonna do my best <laughs> mm-hmm. to ritualistically sacrifice this cow and this goat. Uh, my religion skill is absolutely my strong suit. So you and me both, sister. Yeah, I'm really good at religion. Nine. Nine. I sure do kill a cow. I, <laughs> I did what I said. I stab a cow and I stab a goat. You you feel like you, overall you from what you understand and full crusted stuff you've done a pretty good job with the cow and the goat. Feel like maybe there's something you forgot. You don't know how big you'd like. You're like, there's something. You don't know how big of a deal it is. You don't know if there'll be any consequences or not because this is what you promised. <laughs> um, you feel faintly like you forgot something, but you feel like you do a pretty good job with the calendar. And I think instead of um, burning it, I want to just like <laughs> eat it into the sea. <laughs> Throw it in the ocean. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> because of the, like, may, like Poseidon's, I mean, Poseidon will probably see all, but I want to make sure Poseidon knows I did this. <laughs> it's in his domain now. So. And I think with a nine on religion, I basically, like, drag this to, like, a cliff's edge. And I'm like, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Poseidon! <laughs> And we'll eat them into the sea. Only another religion check. <laughs> okay. My, my character is visibly saddened by what is happening. Oh, right this now. one's a 17. 17? You feel like maybe you didn't do all that right? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you don't know, maybe burn, burning it might have been the way to go. You still feel like you're forgetting something. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, you feel like maybe you should have done it more the traditional way. Uh, but... I mean, you certainly, I certainly did something. You've certainly done something. Who knows if there will be any consequences to that? We will find. I like it. Athena better, anyways. Don't tell us <laughs> All of a sudden, the seas start. Just a friggin' tsunami comes directly at you specifically. <laughs> oh, Athena's given me wisdom. That tsunami is going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone with Poseidon. <laughs> Warrior's death? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> Just get clapped by some water. <laughs> it's not very proud warrior death. If, if, you, uh, if you die fighting that wave, then it is a warrior's death. 
Flash your sword. Yeah, I can't <laughs> swim very well. Heavy armor. Uh, You're on the coast. You've thrown a dead cow and a dead goat into the sea. What's your next move? (laughs) This has been fun, guys. Do we go to the city? Axe is already questioning (laughs) his, like, should we go to the city to ask around about rebellion, or should we start in a smaller village? I feel like there's more likely to be a bigger presence in the city, but also likelihood of getting caught is higher in the city. Maybe start in a smaller village? This wouldn't hurt to ask around. What are they going to turn us in? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I we're, pretty, we're pretty identifiable. The most IR in guy I can find in this village. Or lady. The okay. most IR in IR. A question, do they only speak Elvish? Most of... Well, they all speak Elvish. Yes. Most of them will also speak common. But are all the conversations he will have in Elvish? That depends on him. I am probably going to speak in Elvish when asking about this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our world. <laughs> the entire last story. <laughs> I can translate. Brent, does Axe have uh, proficiency with religion? No. Okay. I do. Well, you're also not from here. Or near here. Ah, this is also true. You all, you, you think if this is how they do ritual sacrifice <laughs> around here, it's kind of weird. But, uh, <laughs> Like, are you sure that's how you do it? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but yeah, totally. You think it's weird there was no drink offering or anything? You think it was weird they just flung them into the sea? But you don't really know how they do things around here. What a waste. <laughs> not, gonna, not gonna correct him. That's... What, a, what a weird culture we're looking at here. By the way, in all of this journey, I think I... Because before you guys didn't get to see what he actually looked like, uh, he finally gets to see you in your armor, and he gets to see that you drink a lot. <laughs> Totally summarize <coughs> both of those things. <laughs> something to reference later. Uh, once, he, once he gets to know a little I bit too more like about you guys. Drinking a <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. I, it's like, it's like, is that an alchemy jug? Yeah, what of it? It's just, what's in it? Beer? <laughs> How much of it have you drank? Oh, oh I reckon about three gallons. gallons. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half. How are you standing? Don't question me. Okay, um, the most... The most like Iron, like like I assume you're looking like for a warrior. Mm-hmm. Um, the most like, oh stop it, macaroni. <laughs> Neighbor's dog. I'm not just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, was, there was a cat on the roof of the store when I was walking. In. I don't know the way you were acting before we started recording. This. <laughs> stop it, macaroni, <laughs> macaroni. Fuck what I said. Fuck what I said. Fuck what I said. I knew you were about. To do that. <laughs> That's an only but a good. One. I don't even exactly remember. <laughs> Well, what Costigan was actually saying, but <laughs> no, that's no. what everybody heard him say. Mm-hmm. Um, the most, like, Iron like, warrior person you could find in this village um, is an elven woman who's at least as tall as you are. Um, seems pretty ripped, dressed in, like, classical Iron armor, but she is wearing a cloak and emblem that are Tyrion. And she seems posted as a guard. Hmm near the village well. <laughs> hey, hail! Looking for any Curian rebels so I can really squash them for ya. Could you point me in the direction? <laughs> no, not too nice. Um, well, I probably shouldn't talk to her if she's, like, in charge here in, in Curian. Hmm. Well, mm. Wolf's gonna go turn on the charm and try and woo this elf. <laughs> I don't know you unless it goes well. Wolf, Wolf yeah. thinks three and a half gallons into four gallons of beer, two trunk to walk. Exactly. I oh, like to climb you like a tree, my <laughs> elven brother. They said we have Switch. to leave the town now. Also, you don't speak elven. <laughs> they speak common. Okay. No, he, no, he says it before. <laughs> That's why we don't have to leave, thank God. Uh... Hmm. Now she's calling I mean, guards. To be fair, to be fair, I do have, I can cast Charm Person once for free, so. <laughs> I feel like I should probably not talk to her. She's wearing a Curian emblem. There's like a guard posted here. I'd like to look for the most <coughs> IR and IR and I can find that's not wearing a Curian emblem. <laughs> I mean, there are 
There are lots of elves here. This is an elven village. Most of them are in, like, traditional dress. Mm -hmm. But the, she's the only one in armor. And the armor is more traditional. They are in armor. Yes. It she just has a Curian cloak emblem. and emblem. Oi, elf. Where's the nearest tavern? Don't you have some she seems, she seems to be... Somewhere? You are the nearest tavern. She seems to be... <laughs> you certainly smell like a tavern. Um, <laughs> Handle the truth. <laughs> Oh, um, well, Artemis being sick for two weeks. <laughs> it's um, okay, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what elf dwarf panther? Uh, she, yeah, she does seem to be the like. Um, she seems to be like sort of the guard posted here, but it is it is very. I will go back. Like, is, is she like? So we're in the town, though, mm -hmm. like where she's not blocking our entrance to. No, okay. she's she's kind of posted by the well, I which is also one of the few things that's going on in this town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carrying stuff you can wear. I do, but it'd be pretty c confusing if a centurion just showed up and started asking questions. I'm just gonna walk up to her in my <laughs> a very centurion from a legion on the other end of the <laughs> world. Yes, yeah. My incredibly uh, IR in armor, my the truest of IR in armors. Uh, I want oh, to walk boy. up to her, okay. and I'm going to say, "Hail." Hail. It's quite odd for me to see such fine IR in armor with a uh, curian cowl over the top of it. Are you a legionnaire? Local garrison. They let you, uh, break the dress code? Well, uh, locals can wear whatever they want. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I am speaking in Elvish to her, of course. <laughs> It'd be really dumb for me to have. Certainly, certainly can't expect the Curians to <coughs> pay for several thousand sets of armors for non-Curian troops. Fair enough. Uh, how long have you been posted here? Are you the local... Are you a guard? Are you a centurion? Are you a, are you a ranked military official? Or just a local guard that they've given... <coughs> just the local guard for the village. He said, your clothes are weird. If, Why are you here? <laughs> She's oh. a guard. Oh. If, if, the, <laughs> I, if the Iron armies get called up for war, then I'd be leaving this posting, but... This village, uh, I'm from a little further north. This pretty peaceful area, usually? Usually. Occasional bandit trouble on the road, but everywhere has occasional bandit trouble on the road. Anything recent? We're a bit, uh, bit of a group of traveling do-gooders. <laughs> like to help solve problems for people where we can you find them. You certainly look road-weary, she says, motioning to a drunk dwarf <laughs> small <laughs> on a bench. Uh, <laughs> next to a utterly gigantic tabaxi. <laughs> Shredding some meat from the open bag next to him. <laughs> Tell her I think she's pretty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, I'm saying, oh, this is Dwarvish. She's pretty. Tell her, elf. Tell her. <laughs> I don't speak Dorvish, so I just I, we, we, we both look over and he's like I just just The drink uh, helps shit. him get away with his uh, seasickness. It's barely ten in the morning. <laughs> well, that's late. <laughs> that's late for a dwarf, okay? I'll admit he's further along the jug than he usually is at this point, but he started no uh, no earlier than normal. So it's a dwarf thing, I think. But no recent spare the dying. Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, it's, it's, I already have an issue. Uh, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> so that's absolutely something a drunk person with spare that's, the dying would do. He's absolutely worthy. He's just quiet. He's like, you know what? Just oh, take a second oh, point oh. of inspiration. He's giving you the second. There you go. Okay. You get to stash him up. Um... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to keep doing that. Your limit is still one, but no, that was, I really liked it. <laughs> no recent issue. No, uh, I've heard rumors of some local IR and groups trying to kind of uh, be a thorn in the side of the Curians here. Any issues with that in this part of the country? Roll me <laughs> how, you can choose either roll me a persuasion check or a deception check. 
Tersus is a bad liar. I've already determined this, so it's going to be a persuasion. He's actually okay at deception, but he doesn't deceive. He's, he, I think he thinks that what he's doing is being like, Ooh, if you know of them, I'll go and take care of them for you. But what he's really doing is basically being like, I'm looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cool? They wouldn't happen to have a, uh, like a recruiting stall or something. Like I can overturn. That I can flip onto them so they oh. could not escape. Obviously. Any pamphlets that I could burn? That I could burn? <laughs> uh, Publicly to show my display. Say 13 on persuasion. 13. Um... I think it's like any uh, those ne'er do well, but it comes off more of like any. Uh, I've heard rumors of this. Is that happening around here at all? Um, most of the uh, anti-Curian sentiment that I've heard tell of, not that we hear much news around here, is either farther north. Um, some. Uh, I don't know if you know anything about that old uh, dragon cult. Heard tale. I've heard tale. Uh, hear about them every once in a while. Um, spreading and gaining influence. <coughs> they seem pretty open about not liking the Curians. Uh, of course, it's uh, earned them plenty of enemies, especially with the uh, new provincial governor. The way she says it, <laughs> you don't need to roll an insight. The way she says it, it's kind of a, like, there's an implied that fat fuck at the uh-huh. end. Uh-huh, okay. Um, or... Hmm. Um, can I insight to see if it's like a I don't respect this individual or like she's talking about the Curians like sure. you can these fucking that. Curians. I'm using my inspiration. <laughs> what a waste. I had increased it by three. <laughs> all the way up. The point of inspiration. <laughs> all the way up to six. Oh. It would have been three other ones. <laughs> oh, you can't tell. You can't tell. You you can tell she's not pleased with the governor. But you I can't tell know. anything apart from that. You can't tell which direction that's sort of aimed. I think probably especially with a bad insight role, I feel like he's going to have a kind of knee jerk response instead of Assessing, like having a pulse on the situation. She said something, and you go distant on and go. Sword. Exactly. So it's like, yeah, I, I, it's kind of, it's literally that moment of like, Marcellus Sorx. I, I, I've heard. <laughs> I kind of catch and be like, I've heard of the uh, governor of this place. Well, she rolled a lot better than a six on her inside chair. But she's a guard. Clearly, she's better at this than I am. I take it you've met the man. <laughs> What's your what's so your badly, what's your level of care? Here? So badly, just want to scream. They're ex-lovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to be in a bedroom alone with him. I'll tell you that much. Maybe I could. Maybe that's a good influence on this. Hmm. Brief run in in the past. Brief run in the past. <laughs> what's your name, stranger? <sighs> <laughs> You think they're going to know your family name? Well, they will. Uh-huh. They will if I say my last name. He's a Tercius. Well, as far as um, rebels or even... There's no shortage of people outspoken against the government. Though anyone causing any actual trouble, I haven't heard much, uh, much about. Sorek seems, at least as far as I can tell more interested in lining his own pockets and living well than um, throwing his weight around, I suppose. He's certainly not popular, but um, we've heard it's worse than other provinces. Yeah, I believe that the Curians for better or for worse, C-I-R-A as tame. Well, it has been for several of their lifetimes. How old does she look? You know, like, is she, like, do does it seem like Close. she's born, pri- like, 
since post uh, the war, our war with the Empire? Almost certainly. Okay. Because you're only like 30 or something like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm 38, which is relatively young for an elf. It has been a couple hundred years since she is like old and wise at the moment. She looks pretty young. I know what I want to do, but what would Tercy? <laughs> I, I gotta see how bold Tercy is. <laughs> I feel like she's given us good information, regardless. It doesn't seem like. I mean, Tercy doesn't have a read on her as actually having any connection to any of that stuff. What do you make of that dragon cult? Do you think that they're. Uh, IR in freedom fighters, or are they just crazy nutters up in the hills? We Causing trouble. Them? Yeah. No. <laughs> Heard of him though. <laughs> this is out of character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, a, a scene actually had one of the that leader's dragon robe. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Probably should have gone in that back room. Before, uh-huh. I asked about that. <laughs> no. no, no. You just I have those. a normal dragon cultist robe. Oh, right. I do have one of those left. I'm not terribly religious myself, but um, I feel like if they succeed in but finding and awakening whatever dragon god or demigod it is they worship. There's a dragon cult? Probably won't end well for anyone. Uh, is that, um, the moment you mentioned that, Wolf finally like kicks up and like, just goes, No! <laughs> <laughs> In what language? Uh, dwarvish. <laughs> no! Uh, actually like, eating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. It does seem like one of those things that, regardless of your loyalties, they're probably going to bite off more than they can chew if what they're going after even exists. I think if a dragon stands a chance of burning Curia to the ground, it will be on a shield and not flying in the sky. Although an actual dragon would probably burn the city to the ground, but it would probably just burn everything else as well. So does that mean she would join us if we flew a flag with this dragon on it? <laughs> so what you're saying is we like dragons. Like just draws a very ugly, like bad kindergarten style drawing of a dragon, licks the paper, sticks to the shield. I just so thought what you're saying. Come on. Come on. Consummate, Consummate me. Man with no majesty of it. Struck him in the face. Chogno! <laughs> oh, Chogno the Burgundator strikes it again. Burgundator. All the people. Look that stroof. Gunjins! And we're off. this friend group song. <laughs> 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 It's our fifth joke. <laughs> wow! That's a new record. That's a new record. Wow. <laughs> Hmm. Body Python quote, Lord of the Rings <laughs> quote, <laughs> inside <laughs> joke. <laughs> Self quotes, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. I'm Nivis. The adoring fan. And that joke number <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> joke number one. Right Turns out it's Trogdor. What a grand champion. We do a bunch of Oberlo where I've had quotes as well. That's true. So. I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> I'm making a roll for my own my, myself. Of course, of course, of course. Huh. <laughs> well, that doesn't oh, matter. Oh, <laughs> well, well, that's a 20. <laughs> that's a great success. Did, did you decide what the roll was going to be before yeah, you Yeah, no, okay. I know exactly All what right. the roll was going to be. Well, that. <laughs> the Oracle's telling you something there. Right? <laughs> the Oracle's telling me to. Potentially put myself in a bad situation. <laughs> Fortune favors the brave. D&D favors the stupid. <laughs> no, I don't know if it does. <laughs> We're going to find out. No, but for some reason the stupid tend to still be standing when the smoke clears. I'm telling you. I'm somehow, just, somehow, I'm the, saying, somehow the smart are the ones who die for their mistakes. I'm just saying, the three of us have gone through some shit. <laughs> look, look you, go in, you, go into a, you go into a crazy overblown battle with a hag coven and their assassin dragonborn bodyguard and Next thing you the know, two NPC allies engaged in that fight. 
They the kill badass one of... monster hunter from the north dies, and <laughs> we are left with Hingara the Unfathomless. Who <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and soon he's gonna be getting getting Axel his number one Who yeah cup. I know that man you won't watch it. I do want to look up. I want to find like a custom mug making thing and make a mug that says number one booyag just as a gift for him because I think that'd be amazing. Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> you I, make a I know at least Spreadshirt Yeah, there's, um, there's a bunch of places. I, sure I, I want a number one booyag or world's best booyag yeah. 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 so bad after that session. Uh, My mom's favorite booyag. Yeah. My mom's uh, favorite booyag. <laughs> not sponsored. Yeah. Normal yeah. leg, ass yeah. kicking leg. Those like, yeah, like socks. We need to make those. We should just get a merch store at some point because we have. Just so we can. Because then we can sell <laughs> number one Booyag or yes. world's best Booyag. Um, so, with that roll, <clears throat> I was rolling oh, right. you an insight for how good Tercius feels about her. You rolling an insight <laughs> on yourself. Yes. And Tercius feels great about this person. He thinks she is an up-and-up Iaren. Having and watched this <laughs> conversation, can I roll an insight to see, like... Sure. From from the doors <laughs> perspective, <laughs> it's not. You go ahead and roll it. Whatever you tell him, I promise will not affect what I'm about to say. Yeah, I no. Determine no what this, will, this will affect I, uh, Wolf's level of care moving forward. Once I, the, I am watching this, but instead of yeah, a Wolf, bag of popcorn, <laughs> Wolf doesn't know shit. Wolf doesn't know shit. He's too drunk to realize it. <laughs> also, even speaking in another language that you don't understand this whole time, yeah. you're just going I off of his translation. Translating the whole time. Yeah, you, you're you, you're half ass translating. You're also certain he keeps just like nodding off on the. <laughs> Like he's kind of sprawling out of the bed. Every time he over, you're pretty sure he's like kind of falling asleep, but then he like kind of startles himself awake for a minute. And I watch him do that one thing where he stops breathing and then he touches his chest, and all of a sudden he. Um, well, that, that's why, like, when you ask, like, "There's a dragon cult," and he just wakes up screaming, "No!" You're like, you don't. And then immediately after, it's kind of looks like goes like, "I'll tell you later." You think like that probably wasn't a response to my question. That was probably like a nightmare or yeah, 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 something. Uh, so. <laughs> I will turn to her and I look. I'm already looking at her. We've been having a conversation for like 30 minutes. Uh, ah, this is the first time you turned to look at her. Oh, God. Oh, you're an elf. Let me talk. I never noticed. Um, all right. I feel like I've not been doing a good job of this to begin with. I'm far from somebody who's good at. I consider myself well spoken, but I don't beat around the bush well, and I don't coerce or deceive or... I'm gonna speak straight to you. I think he's blurry. Because blurry. you oh. seem like... You're the prettiest <laughs> oh. I've ever seen. Uh, Professing his love, I see. He's just met the woman. <laughs> she starts stabbing me. <laughs> oh, he did not like that. He, he hasn't even brought her a boar. <laughs> I can the see... Caught with his own hands in the water. <laughs> I can see by your garb that you're related in job to the Curians. But I can see more so that you are an uh, IR and through and through with the armor you wear below. For what it's worth, depend, you know, we're a bit far from my homeland, but I think the name will travel nevertheless. My name is Tercius Praxis, and I'm not asking over rebellions as a hunter of rebels or as a drunken band of ne'er-do-well yet do-gooders i tap you oh, okay just kidding i was wrong this may go crazy Get i am ready. asking <laughs> i i, I, I preparing I, to pick up the drunk dwarf and run i i, I grab my ass kicking stick the, the new one and just like will slowly pick myself up i am asking as a displaced son of themis who wants to see a free Ayara. And anything you could tell me that could help with that. Casually packing all my stuff. <laughs> would be very beneficial. Finishing off the last <laughs> gallon of the beer. <laughs> well, better drink this quick. <laughs> Just must get out of the <laughs> Oh no, we're about to fight. I need to be a little more drunk. <laughs> roll me. You can roll me a persuasion check with advantage. Okay. Or a deception check, I guess. If Definitely you're, you're, If you haven't been who you claim to be. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, you fool! I am Marcellosaurus! <laughs> and I caught you slacking on your guard duty! <laughs> to the stocks! Character tries to kill himself. Uh, that's very good. That is a 23. Oh, I was advantage. I was supposed to roll those dice. That, that. <laughs> it was probably for the best. Yes. She right. kind of, like, 
very quickly looks around and like grabs you by one shoulder and kind of like brings you over to like the, the wall kind of on one side of this like I was wrong again he was flirting <laughs> <laughs> I was just yeah. the doors no, first no, no, this, the door the door mask up and pulls no, me to wall the, no this the door this You're is what the door tortures? this is what the door sees he sees them talking oh and like hearing that it's like oh we're probably gonna have to do some shit starts slamming the beer pulls it down here they go. <laughs> is Toshi's <just> dead? <laughs> I like the man. <laughs> Love to hate him. Back to the boat. Right now. Well, actually, no. I'm never touching that boat again. I'm never touching that boat. I'm, I'm saying by... that thing on fire. <laughs> I'm going by foot back to my island homeland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm just seeing you. Just stands up and wanders up. I'm going to wander back to uh, the gate. <laughs> to uh, Helm's Deep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> pan, pan. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made it back. <laughs> uh, by the time you make it there on foot, you will have heard nothing but they'll have heard uh, of all of these crazy horse stories. Um, I guess you do have a very fast horse, but um, she kind of like angrily but quietly is like, <laughs> "You're not being very subtle about it." <laughs> I was like, oh, Puff, I told you, subtlety's not my strength. And I'm judging by the fact that you're scolding me, not stabbing me, that we have a further conversation to have here. I've got no love for Sorax, that's true. <coughs> <laughs> but it's been hundreds of years since Kyrie and I were at war. It's a war we lost, for one thing. And the intervening centuries, apart from Sorex, haven't been that bad for us. And Sorex will probably drink himself or fuck himself to death. You can do that. It's a way to go. <laughs> wow. Like new life goal. <laughs> uh, Quest marker. Because <laughs> the little exclamation point appears above your alchemy gun. <laughs> Quest marker. Quest. <laughs> Quest. Drink yourself to death. Oh no. It's, it's optional. Drink yourself to death. Fuck optional. Fuck 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 yourself. Yourself. Um, so it's already the jug of this. It's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> To wipe it away. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 you have one inspiration, I take it. Oh, Alchemy Joe. I would say you can't say that. This is a family friendly channel, but we've done very well. We've said way worse. This channel is the only time Alright, back to the very serious joke, conversation. The joke keeps on good. That's why I wanted to get to the party early on. <laughs> I love when I get Jerry. I love when I get Jerry. When you get Jerry, she's going to have to tell the cross. Okay. Alright, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Oh, I took all of the. I took all the serious. <laughs> <laughs> she says that you visibly giggle a little. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, my point is, he's going to be dead. Early <coughs> in our lifetimes, that by the time we die, we won't even remember him. This is very true. In fact, I hope it. Although, personally, uh, Marcel's dying is at the forefront of my mind for a lot of reasons. But I have been <coughs> across the known world over these last months. I have seen the width and breadth of what a Curian leader looks like. And I can tell you that while... Marcellus is terrible. He's far from the worst there is. And the fact that we have such a fool in leadership here now is, uh, is an opportunity we may not have in the future. And I've seen from these places <coughs> I've been that 
This empire is one that is losing fights much more than they have in my memory and in the memory of those who have spoke to me of them and is well focused inward and divisive amongst itself and I for one would see a free Ayara where we don't think our uh not the word what's not captors. We don't thank our conquerors for giving us nicer scraps than other conquerors give, and instead determine our own course and make our own decisions. I understand that things in a lot of places here may not be that bad, but I would see a truly free Ayara where our ways could be followed once again, and not because they led us, but because we choose them. Ayara is not a place that the Kyrians are going to give up easily. <coughs> Regardless of how their legions are spread at the moment, you start raising hell here, and that is going to change. We can't fight all of Kyria. <clears throat> tell, her, tell her about how we destroyed legions. <laughs> I think that we can't defeat the entirety of the might of Kyria, but we can defeat a section of Kyria. And I think I don't believe that the entirety of Curia will be marching here, dependent on other course of, courses of events going on elsewhere in the world. I can tell you from first-hand experience that the homeland of the dwarves and the, the stout folk of the far northwest... Why are my ears burning? <laughs> That's me. He's talking about me. I don't know why, but I, I, I know, know he's talking. I know about he's talking about me. He's, he pantomimed he, he, alcohol. He, he's, rep, he's referencing this. <laughs> he held his. He held his. He, yeah, he held yeah, his he's holding behind. He's <laughs> off the ground. That their land has just been liberated, legion crushed. A response, to some level, being needed there, legions locked in stalemates and pushing back and forth with tribes of the north and the west. I've seen an entire legion perish at the hands of the Tabaxi empires to the east. The empire appears strong and has a great deal of strength, but that strength is divided, and there's a lot of people vying for that imperial throne. Give me another persuasion check with advantage. Okay. Yeah, oh, yep. Yeah, thanks for thanks for coming. <laughs> Double crit fail. Here we go. No, it's not. It's a twenty-three. Still just rolling like twenty-three. So persuasion. He's nothing if not pretty. <laughs> I'm nothing except pretty. <laughs> He's also a fairly strong and tanky as hell. <laughs> he really wants to be. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you have a plan? I have a safe place to start building one. <laughs> I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> the plan, uh, I'd be lying to you if I said that I had a well thought out and thorough strategy for how this was going to go. I'm at the point where my companions and I know a safe place where a rebellion could begin to build place where Curian eyes would not be able to look upon us and where a measuring of the strength we do possess could begin. I also have a decent <clears throat> book of friends that while they may not be able to lend armies could certainly lend support in other ways. What about the... Um what about the older Praxis son? Is he involved in all this? My brother, uh, unfortunately, 
Isidoros is passed away. He was involved, he was put into a position as a centurion in the Legion, has marched for quite some time, but um, died a rebel in another country. I don't know many. And keep trying to get word to anyone is possible, but dangerous. But if you have some hideout, I suppose I'll hear you out. We know of a village. Ancient. A uh, very ancient Iron City. <laughs> Older than memory of most alive now, I would think. Even the elders. A hidden cove that you would not see if you did not know to look there. A <coughs> overgrown surrounding that you would not want to pass and not see any reason to, to get to it by land. And the makings of, albeit in disrepair, a fortress and a village to build and start something. The best way to get to it would be by sea. And that would be where we would want to uh, start by getting things in and out of. Kind of be the path for people to find this place. Yes, my fear is that whatever channels we use to reach out to such people have to be secure ones, or this plan is squashed before it starts. Are you heading there now, or do you have other plans? Uh, my plan is to head there once I know others will be hopefully coming to join us. Is that your boat in the harbor? It is. I suppose I'll wait here until you're ready to sail them. She gonna give her two weeks soon. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. I believe. So they would she's just saying like kill her. If we show her where it's at, she will bring people there, or she like she will if, sail with us if we yes. get others. Well, uh, and mostly like she'll sail with you, whether that's now or once you've tramped around for a while and recruited other people. Okay. Where would you suggest we start looking? I don't know. What if we befriend the dragon cult people and have a bunch of fucking weirdos that can do stuff working with us? Yeah, but we... I'm we, sure every city and village has people displeased with the Kyrians, though how many are actually willing to stand up and fight, I don't know. And I don't really know how to go about finding them. No? We have some people to go find. How put together is your ancient city? As in, functionally, what does it have going for it? It's the ruins of buildings more than buildings, to be honest, but we're starting from the ground up. We've got a frame. <coughs> we should probably get materials for food and resources to start there. My thought, <coughs> I'm going to probably turn to Wolf at this point, is that we reach out to our um, <coughs> Peshar friends mm. that I'm sure the Golden Claws? Mm -hmm. That the Golden Claws smuggling ne network would be willing to help out a couple of war heroes with supplies. Maybe. It's worth reaching out. I guess say probably try and find more tools and seeds mm -hmm. to start growing food. Maybe ship some animals. We can start some farms or some cows, some goats. Keep side on our side. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Keep throwing maybe it into a, the ocean. Maybe a priest who knows what they're doing. But to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. I was just thinking about the guy that we knew that we before we left who probably could have just gone to the ancient city instead of. Buggering off into the desert when a new guy came along. <laughs> oh, you could have. He had his own thing going. You, you yeah, could have just fine. hung out like uh, like the.
corpse in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> the one who can revive your friends. Uh, or, uh, he wouldn't have been useless to like, I just, help. I just love. I just love so much that he gives this whole speech about how like your coming was like foretold and like <laughs> and this whole thing and then the like we'll meet again when the time is right and then yeah he just like totters off out of the room and he goes into your camp mm-hmm. like then you just go back to camp he just like, totters oh. off into the wilderness. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> then, and then he's like, and, and then he gives you some speech about like, he's like, so we have met again, like right as always. <laughs> Just like you, you in my, you're in my camp. I watched you walking over to this area. Um, <laughs> you didn't vanish or appear mysteriously or nothing. You literally just. Wobbled out of your tomb. I don't even know if this is where you were looking for. You just kind of sat down. <laughs> she seems like she's got decent head on her shoulders. Do you think that the dragon cultists could be reasoned with? Or do you think they're too... too, uh, too extreme, too zealous in their belief that this great dragon will, will purify the lands? I think if you're not with them, you're against them. Opinions and I think they probably opinion. have pretty narrow definitions of what with them means. Yeah, I've never met them myself, but I haven't heard great things. <laughs> We've had some run in in the past, and it ended bloody. Doesn't surprise me. Seems to me like you've answered your own question. Could be a useful group, yet a dangerous one. Like I said, I'm not religious, but I feel like if there's any truth to what they're saying, helping them would probably be dangerous. And ultimately, worse for IR than doing nothing. Uh, but they are against Curia. The enemy of my enemy is a loony. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they're, it's just like, I don't know how to go about not having them be a thorn in the side, if nothing else. There's a lot to, to take into account with this. I if think you're willing, you might get some support just by making sure the people of Ayara know that there's somebody standing up to Curia. Sounds like you're just getting started, so I don't know if you want to draw any attention to yourself. <laughs> but um, if you want people to hear you, tiger. Yeah. speaking loudly tends to work, if you get my meaning. I do. Points at Johnny Bravo in gold armor, <laughs> large tiger, and dwarf. Right. <laughs> so, so essentially, attention. we need to stop some convoys. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Again. Again. Destroy some bridges. Destroy some bridges. And spread the word like Robin Hood. Like, <laughs> and tell your friends that it was me. Just ride around <laughs> pinning <laughs> arrows with notes to them to carry it. <laughs> My name is Tercius Praxis, I assume it's spelled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had a classical upbringing. You can read and write very well. Not that's, that you've done much with that. <laughs> not that I've used that classical upbringing to better myself in any way. Um. He spent way, way, way too much time reading his textbooks. You know the stories of ancient heroes, <laughs> which was the textbooks at this point, this period of history. So mine were picture books. <laughs> you well, have, what like, are these things you call? More like, books? Where should like cave paintings? True. <laughs> she thinks I should yell. Where do you guys think I should choose to yell? <laughs> and how should I go about yelling? What do we do to make a point? Kill someone big, put their body in town square, and or swear at people. <laughs> or well, the last picture seems unnecessary. You were murdered. Or find a village that has a decently sized Curian guard and topple it. Essentially, just topple <laughs> it, and then. <clears throat> make your point known to the people. Like, you know, Jerry, I would not stand. Or, I don't know, something. You, you something, something, uh, 
something like that. All the languages you guys use might sound like you're going to find just a really big Kyrian soldier and knock him over. <laughs> <laughs> I am just his breakfast. <laughs> I'm, no, you're gonna no, be, I'm back. You're going to be in front of him. And he's on the ground. Look at that. You're going to be in front of him. I'm going to be on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> like, little tabletop, some centurion, <laughs> and start yelling about how cool we are. And then run away. And then run off into the it's, wilderness. It's okay. Kyrians go home on a, <laughs> on a wall for the middle of the night. It's a, it's a flex if you can get all the way up to someone in power to show that you can get access to them and then not kill them. Although, ideally, you would be kill in the situation. <laughs> we, we, I don't know, we don't really have access. We to make access. That is how traditionally it has been done. <laughs> yeah, you make access. I don't know. I say my vote is we have to go cause some trouble and let the people know. Let's go to the city. Let's not not to uh, Themis. Let's go to the Sparta Canis. city. Canis. Canis. Let's see who the like Anarchy. local lord is there. <laughs> take him out and yeah. take him out or make a point in his area because I I feel like. We shouldn't go for the seat of power, but going for a big city and making a point, and then I can, disappearing I can, I can also without use, a trace. Oh, call. use that maturity. Like, if like yeah. if it's a cloudy sky, use that maturity and be like, "This is your god." <laughs> Hello, it's <laughs> me, <laughs> God. <laughs> in dwarvish, in dwarvish. One of those strange grunts coming from the rafters. <laughs> Listen, the dwarf, I think. Listen, I can I can speak common, <laughs> and enough people would speak them local it. Local ruffians up, up there banging on the roof again. Let's go to Canis. All right, to Canis to cause trouble. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, well, I'm gonna need to know which of these places I have been because we did not discuss off of the map where that I have. Been. You would have passed. You probably would have passed north of this region. Okay. Um, probably sticking more to the mainland than this like peninsula. Okay. Um, Easy. But culturally, you would have seen, like, you would have passed through kind of the northern part of IR, and you would have seen, like, like culturally, you would have seen a lot of this. Okay. This style of architecture. And just also, like, assuming, this style of farming. <coughs> I'm assuming that I don't, I stand out because of, my, like, who I am. Because you're a giant tabaxi. Yeah, yeah. but uh, there's other tabaxi around, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the one who stands out the most is me, because I'm literally a dwarf. Well, I mean, technically, I would say that you stand out the least in a purely physical sense. <laughs> in, in a physical sense, yes. Because uh, nobody's going in to be In a proximity looking. sense, you are the weirdest to had, be seen. Had I, uh, had I been a little more off the ground, they would notice me. Yes. Um, I would have noticed you, dwarf, if your head stood <laughs> a little further from the ground. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, are you, uh, you had kind of talked about potentially trying to send messages... Do yes. some old friends? Do you want to try and do that here? or? I'd like to do that. I don't know exactly how to go about that in the world. Box them. Like, how... Box. How would... Is it, there's not, like, a messenger inter-kingdom courier service, I assume. No, like, I mean, you would have to, like, hire a courier or hire... Um, homing pigeon... Well, you need a homing pigeon from the place you're trying to send a message yeah. to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, and tabaxi homing pigeons are awful hard to get a hold of around here. They um, simply don't exist. Or you would have to find like a merchant heading that direction, or um, something like that. Do we also reach out to Jalal? That's who he's. That's what I'm talking about. about. Oh, the yeah. no, the Golden right. Claws. Pastars, not Pashars. Pasha. Pastars. You said Pasha. Uh, yeah, it was like, yeah. I misread one of my T's as an H. Uh, Come on, it's the venerable Pastar family. The Pastar. So, so it's an awful lot of nephews and nieces and one uncle. That are all absolutely related, and not just a criminal yeah. network. Um, criminal. Right. <coughs> royal institution. I think that species is... I would like is. to, I guess, hire a courier to send word. Essentially, they like go to the tabaxi capital with this message okay. and say that it is for Jalal. Right, Jalal? Is yeah, Jalal. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Jalal. He's like, come on again. Say that. Tercius has a message for Jalal. And what, you don't want to send a message to Kihan? 
No. If yeah. this courier is in fight, you yeah. somehow Keon in a drunken stupor will accidentally pickpocket the message off of him and read it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this was for me. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that was convenient. Yeah, that's convenient. Well, into the trash and forget what that was about. Basically, yeah. saying that like we want whatever help they can give in. Tercius isn't smart enough to try to use a cipher or anything like that. It's like a blood, like working on a rebellion in Ayara. What can you do to help? Um, okay, it's going to be like a hundred gold to take That's a message true. that far. Mm-hmm. Um, but a courier it will absolutely uh, do so. You, uh, Kyria is not at war with the Tabaxi Empire currently. There is some unrest in the east, but well, he's at war, so. Also, is this is this soldier still near? Uh, mm-hmm. Have have they come back from around whatever corner they were? Yeah, she's I mean, she's like just still around. just more or less yeah. on guard. Mm-hmm. I, I, I walk up, I walk up, and be like, and just hand her the last of the alchemy jug. Yeah. <laughs> she she can probably speak common. I say I'm common. Oh oh, <laughs> cheers. Just hand her the jug. I'm working, but thanks for the offer. <laughs> yes. it does not compute. It does not compute. Is he always like this? Usually drunker. Uh, honestly, I'm worse. This is a part of your little triumvirate of rebellion, is it? He's more capable than he seems. And That's less not... drunk than you'd think. I've, I've honestly sobered up a little bit since I've Neither of those is a terribly high bar. <laughs> Yet his little legs leap over it in great I, balance. I, I will say, <laughs> I say, I say, like, I almost beat him in combat. He cracked me upside the head for something fierce back in the desert. Yes. And I'm part of it. That <laughs> might explain a thing or two. <laughs> I'd like to, uh, I'd like to dispute, but <laughs> I understand what what we're talking about here is a bit crazy. I need to find a courier, and we need to go. Make a name for the Praxis family again. The who? No. no. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of the soldier. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> what are you again? What's what? <laughs> The what family? <laughs> um, send that message off and okay. head north. You can do so. I won't stop you. Alright, let's head towards Kang. Show me potato salad. <laughs> Show me potato salad. Um, I'm assuming we have our horses. We're not walking. Do I have a horse? Oh, yeah, we... Oh. Do you have a horse? That is a good Looks question. like you're buying a horse. Huzzah! More so, mush for all my I, I also realized we... And what I was looking up right now, we never figured out my uh, starting gold. Uh, you looked that up? It doesn't exist. It's based on background, right? Right. What do you do if it's custom background? Where's and custom? gold, because that's... <laughs> Ah, that's the, kind of the standard. Ah. You can have my horse, I'll go get another one. <laughs> or I can buy you one. <laughs> same. It's all the same. You can have his horse with no name, and you can get another horse with no name. If you name, if I give you this horse and you name it, then I will be furious. <laughs> I'll get you a new horse, I'll get you a new horse. We we'll get you a horse. Okay. Uh, I go and try and buy the sturdiest horse I can find for this Mountain of a, of a lion. So you want like a draft horse? Like Probably a, a draft horse. Like, you're a tiger, aren't you? Functionally, yeah, but okay. basically a tabaxi. Just real, real big. A meat mountain, if you will. <clears throat> uh, draft horse for under 50 gold. I pay 50 gold. It's a little do bit you, slower, but I can carry more. No, I'll keep your 10. You might need some drinking money. You could instead get an ox. Much cheaper. Hmm. No. <laughs> I'm just no, saying. Can I not keep well. the damn thing? <laughs> I, I, we'll just get you a, a, a thick Clydesdale and call it a day. <laughs> and uh, off we are heading. Head okay. on north, horseback. That's probably a decent spot to end this episode. Mm-hmm. Axe um, is super stoked. He has a freaking pet now. Look at this thing. Just, I, I, and I'm riding it. I'm riding yeah, it. I'm gonna, I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. He's got to think about it. You're, hey, you're still thinking about naming your boat. 
I've come up with a great name, but I feel like this boat's too lame for it. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep adding tick marks. Well, I have a name I really want to use, but I want to use the, it for uh, a way cooler boat. Welcome, I mean, really, welcome to the, um, that, that's, welcome to the, like, pirate tabletop RPG problem. <laughs> Luckily, you guys went from a couple of relatively shit boats to a really nice ship mm-hmm. in that campaign, so you were immediately when we like, When we came up with our own name for a ship, yeah. Yeah. it was for a pretty cool one. Mm-hmm. That's actually the... Well, no, you named, you technically named the um, the schooner that you guys stole. Um, because you... Was that the Starbright? Yeah, because... <laughs> no, first, Starlight. No, because you had the Starlight, which oh, was yeah. your little... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 because then it was uh, Starbright. Great job! Um, <laughs> you named the subright for some reason to stick with the naming convention. Uh, and then when you guys finally bought your own ship. That was the, it was the siren. It's and then uh, and then we got a cursed ship. Uh, a really really rad cursed ship. <laughs> Someone considered a blessing. At any rate, hey Rick, thanks for watching. <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, as Jerry said, um, I've been sitting here the whole time trying to figure out why Erickson's so red on the. Uh, Probably because I got sunburned. Yeah, uh, you look, being outside. You look, you look all right <laughs> in real life. You just look really the, pink. The lighting just uh, accentuates uh, that, the that white balance is against the whitest person here. So, um, hmm. uh, yeah. anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this content at all, we have a bunch of similar stuff and a variety of um, other tabletop RPG systems. Uh, more than one episode where Jerry laughs until he cries. <laughs> so many. Uh, <laughs> this campaign has had a lot of them. <laughs> it's a really good one. Um, as well as I highly recommend uh, the Coven uh, episode of our Skygate campaign, um, in which quite a few of us laugh until we cry. <laughs> yeah. um, it's not the, just me. Despite the spooky name of that episode. And I, as a DM, just cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you also laugh. Too, yeah, yeah, I also laugh. Uh, it wore off quicker for you than it did for the rest of us. Um, but we will uh, see you all in the next episode.